because it's controlled by fossil fuel funded climate change deniers who are blocking any bills that would attempt to deal with this problem. How they're able to discredit scientists who have devoted their life to this issue yeah. is kind of mind boggling to me. Sometimes it makes me want to, want sure. to take I mean, a drink, I would right? do, If I was a scientist, I would be absolutely pissed every single day of my life. That These people are you know, engaged in an effort to, to lead us astray in the name of short-term you know, fossil fuel profits uh, so that we end up leaving behind a degraded planet. What could be more immoral than that? Even now, man may be unwittingly changing the world's climate through the waste products of his civilization. Due to our release through factories and automobiles every year of more than six billion tons of carbon dioxide, our atmosphere seems to be getting warmer. This is bad. Well, it's been calculated a few degrees rise in the Earth's temperature would melt the polar ice caps. The fact is, we've known about this problem for decades and decades, for over half a century. Every day I send you a thousand times more power than you use in a year. Anybody working on getting power direct from old blowhard here? Oh, yes, but not nearly enough. Roll 6B. Imagine the world right now if we had taken the science of climate change seriously back then. current out of the sunlight that falls on it. But our engineers, they'll have to build efficient generators that spread out over acres, even square miles, to compete with the cheap coal and oil still available to us. Since then, our population has increased by almost 5 billion people and counting. And China has recently surpassed the United States as the world's number one polluter. The problem has become even more difficult to solve.